हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी पीडेट्रिक्स पॉइंटर द अल्टीमेट पीडेट्रिक्स रिवीजन प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज ए साइनोटिक कॉन्जेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज सो फर्स्ट वी से कॉन्जेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज एंड टू डायग्नोज कॉन्जेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज वी टेक द हेल्प ऑफ द नाडास क्राइटीरिया दिस नाडास क्राइटीरिया कैन बी मेजर क्राइटीरिया और दिस कैन बी माइनर क्राइटीरिया मेजर क्राइटीरिया इंक्लूड्स फोर सिस्टोलिक मर्मर मोर देन और इक्वल टू ग्रेड थ्री डायस्टोलिक मर्मर एनी ग्रेड कंजस्टिव हार्ट फेलियर और साइनोसिस एंड द माइनर इंक्लूड्स सिस्टोलिक मर्मर लेस देन ग्रेड थ्री एब नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर एब नॉर्मल सेकेंड हार्ट साउंड एब नॉर्मल चेस्ट एक्सरे एब नॉर्मल ई सी जी एंड इफ देयर इज वन मेजर और टू माइनर क्राइटीरिया प्रेजेंट देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ कॉन्जेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज दिस इज नाडास क्राइटीरिया देन यू नीड टू रिमेंबर सर्टेन सिंड्रोम्स विच हैव गॉट द कॉन्जेनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज एंड द कॉमन वन इज टर्नर सिंड्रोम एंड इन द टर्नर सिंड्रोम द मोस्ट कॉमन यू गेट इज बाई कस्पिड आयोटिक वेल्व डिजीज विच इज मोर कॉमन देन कोआक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा इन द विलियम सिंड्रोम In the William syndrome, you get is supravalvular aortic stenosis. Supravalvular aortic stenosis. In the Marfan syndrome, you get is the mitral valve prolapse. Noonan syndrome. Right side of the heart is affected, and you particularly get is pulmonic stenosis. In the Down syndrome, the most common congenital heart disease is endocardial cushion defect. more than vst in the di george syndrome you can get is the di george or di george truncus arteriosus interrupted aortic arch tga that is transposition of great arteries and top tetralogy of fellow so in the nutshell these are the syndromes and this are the congenital heart disease which can be particularly seen moving on to a synotic congenital heart disease that means the shunt will be from left to right which majorly includes atrial septal defect ventricular septal defect and the patent ductus arteriosus in the asd if the examiner has only given asd you will assume ostium secundum type of defect here there is presence of widely split and fixed second heart sound but in the mcq if they ask you synotic congenital heart disease with widely split and fixed second heart sound it has to be total anomalous pulmonary venous connection a synotic asd synotic it is tapvc in this there is enlargement of right atria and right ventricle the prophylaxis for infective endocarditis is not required because there is no damage to the endocardium here and the congestive heart failure is seen in adults and that is particularly due to pulmonary hypertension this much you need to remember in atrial septal defect ventricular septal defect which is the most common congenital heart disease and the most common defect is in the membranous part of the interventricular septum and there is one supra crystal vsd this can damage aortic valve causing aortic regurgitation there is presence of pan systolic murmur pan systolic murmur there is enlargement of left atria left ventricle plus minus right ventricle but remember right atria is never enlarged in vsd there is never enlarged in vsd when you can see congestive heart failure this is seen between 6 to 8 weeks a very important marker and the pointer 6 to 8 weeks after birth when particularly the pulmonary vascular resistance decreases and there is chances of spontaneous closure but that is more in muscular defect more common is membranous defect but chances of spontaneous closure are more in the muscular defect is there last we say is the patent ductus arteriosus pda can be seen in two conditions one is preterm child one is congenital rubella syndrome and in the patent ductus arteriosus you get a continuous murmur 
which is present in the second left intercostal space or left infraclavicular area. There is presence of wide pulse pressure. There is presence of the wide pulse pressure. In this, there is increase in the size of left tater, left ventricle, also dilation of the ascending and arch of iota. We are using prostaglandin inhibitors only in the preterm child. Remember, not in the term child. In the term child, you go for transcatheter PDA closer. Transcatheter PDA closer. If the pulmonary hypertension develops in PDA, this results in differential cyanosis. What is the meaning of differential cyanosis? As you can see, the blood will be coming from pulmonary artery to iota. So the deoxygenated blood will be only going to the lower portion of the body. So there will be cyanosis present in the abdomen and lower limbs. There will be no cyanosis in head and neck plus upper limbs. This is called differential cyanosis. Right. So, dear friends, this was regarding the asynotic congenital heart disease. Liking the series, please do like, do subscribe and do comment on the video. Thanks.